What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Seth, and we are back again for some more Trove to Trove. Now, today we're going to be doing some random grinding. It's just a normal Let's Play episode. Because uh, I wanted to spend some time talking about what's been going on with Trove. And more importantly, I know that a lot of you guys have probably noticed in the videos that they've they've been a bit lackluster. You know, I haven't really been putting out, like, uh, the best, highest quality stuff. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, of course, is more obviously that so many of you are busy with school that views are just down. And because of it, it's kind of like... This is a very, very busy moment for a lot of you guys and gals because you're busy with all the school and stuff. But as far as my career is concerned, like YouTube in general, you know, uh, the amount of uh, revenue I end up making is based off of the views. And because of it, it's like I can kind of take this time to have a bit of a personal vacation where I'm still having daily videos come out and stuff like that. But it's like I can relax a little bit more and not worry about having everything come out like as soon as possible. My point being is that right now, you know, I've been trying to have uh, just Trove and Spider-Man or Spider-Man coming out every day. And then just randomly the other day, I ended up putting out the Cube World video and we're gonna have a Cube World series on the channel as well. But when Cube World episodes come out, we're probably not gonna have it come out at the same time as Trove just because the games themselves are kind of conflicting. Um, well, they're kind of the same, I'll say, right? But the biggest reason why I've kind of been taking a bit of a break from all of the Trove stuff is because there hasn't been that much new stuff. If you haven't already noticed, or maybe you're sitting there wondering why I haven't covered like any news about Trove, that's because the developers have been on vacation for weeks now. And they were supposed to come back this week and they were supposed to do a live stream and everything like that. And then they were like, well, not all of the developers are back right now. So you know what? We're just gonna stay on our break a little bit longer. Yes, that's how they talk. They're from like the eighties or something. Um, but either way, what it means for me is that I don't really have that much new exciting stuff for Trove to cover. And it's kind of like, it's kind of done a bit of a back, uh, a back lash for like the game's popularity in general like I i'm just noticing lots of people aren't really playing the game as much you know everyone's just kind of relaxing and taking a break from it and it's not that it i'm quitting by any means i want to get that out there because people always get confused and always think are you quitting trove now even on the cube world video people were like you're quitting trove for cube world and it's like no i'm not gonna quit trove for a dead game i've just been really enjoying playing that game multiplayer it's actually a lot of fun and in a lot of ways has better systems and mechanics than Trove does. I'm honestly surprised how well that game has held up uh, this <laughs> to this day and age. But anyways, uh, with the devs being on break, you know, it means that we don't really have anything new or exciting going on for the game. And because of it, it means that we're not nearly as excited about stuff. Like, you know, we I've kind of already covered it in other videos. Like we already know U10 is being delayed till uh, later in the year. I, I wonder if the biggest reason why, like, I, I don't mean to sound negative here towards the developers, but I'm wondering if the reason why U10 ended up getting delayed had something to do with this uh, long vacation time that they had. You know, it's like, it, whether or not they would have released U10 in October, like they originally planned, but maybe it wasn't close enough to being finished before the vacation kicked in and, you know, them taking a break is more of a priority for them rather than finishing the content, which is understandable. I'm not saying that uh, that in a negative light. I'm just saying I, I wonder if that actually uh, was what got taken into account with it, you know? So anyways, I, I don't want to just keep repeating myself other than just saying, yeah, that's that's the big reason why I've, you probably haven't seen me on Trove as much and why the videos themselves have just kind of been all over the place lately. Just because I, I've got a lot of videos on my list of things to do, but most of them from this point on are just kind of fan suggestions or like old tutorials that I should have done a long time ago, but just never did it because I wasn't really as interested in it. And essentially, I, I guess what I'm saying is I've had a lot more free time on my hands uh, for just random games and just to kind of stop and evaluate my content and think about like, what do I actually want to do moving forward with all the Trove stuff? And I, I do want to kind of mention and talk about some of the positives around Trove because there's been a lot of 
I don't know if I would necessarily say controversial topics that we've been mentioning lately. More so, it's that I've been overly critical about the game and very, very negative towards its development cycle. And in a lot of ways, I do still think that the game is never going to end up reaching the potential that it could have many years ago and even could right now because the developers are still developing the game that they want rather than the game that the community is asking for, which, okay, whatever, they're the developers, right? So we're just gonna have to sit here and take it. But I did wanna talk about like the things that I do enjoy about Trove, just to kind of reiterate and bolster the fact that I'm still playing this game because I enjoy it. Because a lot of people like to, you know, not a lot of people, the, the few people that hate on my videos always like to say the excuse about like, oh, he's just playing it for the money. And I, I mean, I love how like that's the typical excuse people end up painting uh, a picture towards like content creators and YouTubers, like saying that we're only doing it for the money. And I'm not saying that other content creators don't do stuff for the money, okay? Uh, and I'm not saying in regards to the Trove content creators, I'm just talking about content creators on YouTube as a whole. You know, you see videos that are just uh, absurdly like, like look at Fortnite. That That's something where people play that game just for the money. I'm actually playing it because I'm enjoying uh, the whole 50v50. I've actually been having a lot of fun with it. But the normal squad modes and stuff like that, yes, I would have been playing those only because uh, the videos are popular, not because I enjoy the game. And my point is, uh, the reason why I'm bringing up Fortnite where we're playing Trove today is because there's been so many opportunities for me where I could have played games that were popular on the channel, but didn't because the popularity doesn't matter to me. It's about whether I'm enjoying it. And Trove is one of those rare cases where despite the fact that I am overly critical about the game, most of all, I'm overly critical because this game is precious to me. You know, it's not only been very good to me as far as YouTube content is concerned, uh, you know, it's it single-handedly has allowed me to make a full-time living from YouTube. I'm not going to deny that. But the developers, yeah, you know, they've been very, very good to us. We've had countless times where things have ended up going very, very badly, uh, you know, with either griefing or people taking advantage of uh, a rough situation or just the game crashing and destroying stuff in general. And they've always been really good to me. You know, they've always been able to kind of fix all of it. Like the most recent and biggest thing that was a, a, a big point of controversy for the people that hate on my videos and just hate on my content and stuff like that was when uh, one of our officers ended up just going nuts and destroying our uh, Team Pixel on PC, Jub Jub on Xbox, uh, you know, we ended up actually having them re-roll the Team Pixel world, and I forget whether or not, I, I don't think we ended up getting the world rolled back on uh, Jub Jub, like the Xbox Club, most of all because we had the opportunity for that, but the community was just so awesome that everything ended up getting repaired and worked out you know like that's where uh cap red made a big name for himself for me and ended up kind of busting into our community because of the fact that he did such a good job kind of managing things and getting things uh, a bit more under control you know he's he's very passionate about the community same as i am with trove and that's the big reason why i'm still playing it and why i still love it and why i'm never going to quit is because of you guys you know i love this game I, I love the community, I, I love the gameplay, you know, despite the fact that you might have complaints about like how pay to win it is, uh, or how they should be developing the game in a different direction that ends up making content more interesting, or even how we're all very, very skeptical or kind of holding our breath as it were for what's going to happen with U10. None of us know whether or not it's going to end up actually being good, but the fact that the devs just keep on pushing it and saying that it's, you know, gonna be like the big thing about Trove, uh, you know, we're all kind of sitting here wondering, like, is this really going to end up being all it, set out, it, it sets out to be? Because the developers themselves haven't changed, which means that we're probably going to end up still seeing a lot of pay to win and time gated content introduced with U10. And it is disappointing that, you know, this is how they develop games uh, at Tryon World, but that's just kind of, you know, them's the breaks. And it doesn't really matter because those of you that are still watching these videos, I know, still enjoy this game yourself. Now, there's some people that even watch my videos that don't play Trove anymore just because of how difficult it's gotten. 
but the fact that you're still watching the videos means that you care not on not necessarily about me and my content or anything like that which some of you do and i'm very appreciative of that but it's the passion that we share for this game I think that's why we have so many people, you know, tuning into the trope videos and stuff like that is because we're all like really enjoying what this game is at a core level, you know, like one of the big reasons why I got so turned, uh, you know, towards trove in the first place was because of the way that it's designed like i love the uh, i i love this what we're doing right now just running dungeons over and over people always ask me whenever they catch me doing a live stream they're always wondering like why 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 are you just sitting here grinding this when you already have everything because it's a video game man and it's fun i i just like grinding and it's just all there really is to it now every now and then i do end up taking a break for sure and that's kind of what's going on right now but because of it, we can kind of relax and just take it easy, right? Anyways, I'm kind of noticing that I'm starting to repeat myself here. Most of all because I'm, uh, I guess, focusing on doing the dungeons and stuff like that. So, last but not least, uh, I did want to end up mentioning what my loyalty points are at. Because lots of you guys keep on asking. And I thought that rather than do it in its own separate video, I don't know if there would be a point to that. That is a weird looking stellar fist. Thanks. But I thought I would take the opportunity to talk about something that was important to me on, you know, a, a video that more than likely is going to end up getting quite a bit of attention while also just having like a normal Let's Play episode because we finally have the opportunity to actually do one because there isn't really as much uh, things for me to cover in the game. Now that said, very, very soon, you know, we've got the October update is probably going to be the next one. Unfortunately, it's at the end of October, but next week we more than likely should actually see the developers come back and hopefully they start actually revealing some of the stuff about U10 and, you know, maybe even give hints towards when we're going to be able to actually have it on the test server so that we can end up experiencing this stuff for ourselves. And more so than not, just to get hype. Because while U10 has a lot of hype around it, don't get me wrong, we don't really know that much about it yet. Like, we gotta, we gotta kind of experience it for ourselves to know what's actually going on and whether or not it's going to end up being something really, really cool and crazy. So anyways, uh, where are my loyalty points? Here we go. So I've spent a little over $8,000 towards this entire game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Some of you guys at the beginning of the game are like, Wah! and then some of you guys that are at the end game are probably sitting there thinking that it's not that much. And I'd say that I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle, uh, if not a little bit lower than the average spender on this game. Because you gotta consider a few things, right? First of all, I've been playing this game for over three years. Maybe even, we might even be close to four, if not at four uh, years of me playing this game. So that's not really that much money over the course of that amount of time. Especially when you consider that some people have been playing this game for five months and they've already spent a whole lot more. Now, I'm not trying to argue and, and you know, defend myself or sit here and say, like, I, I'm not spending that much money, you guys. I'm just trying to put it into perspective. Where I've been playing this game for an uh, absurdly long time and there's certain things that I do stay away from. Like, for example, you know, these Geo deals, these suck. They're just an absolute waste of money. That said, I did end up buying quite a few of them when the Geo update first came out because I was tricked by them. And generally speaking, I'm very, very picky when it comes to, like, where I spend money because, you know, with YouTube being what it is uh, as a career choice, my currency that I end up making per month ends up fluctuating based on views, how many of you end up watching, you know, the ads on the videos, how many of you go the extra mile of either uh, sponsoring the channel, buying the merch, or, you know, using the gawk box stuff that's in the description. And all of that stuff is a big, big factor towards how much money I'll end up or how much revenue I'll end up actually making off of just YouTube in general. And I, I, I don't mean to talk about money because I know that people always have like a really big problem with it whenever I do. I'm just trying to, uh, again, put into perspective that with Trove, I'm making enough off of these videos that I can justify throwing as much money as the game needs me to throw at it, uh, more specifically, so that I can end up actually being at the end game, experiencing this content for myself so I can share it with you, and more importantly, buying these packs so that I can review them appropriately and let you guys and gals know who aren't making a living from playing video games that you might not want to spend your paycheck on this game, you know? 
because that's kind of the thing is it's like I, I've always prided myself on the fact that despite the fact that I enjoy this game, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to, you know, that I'm going to reserve my judgments for myself. I'm going to have to share it with you guys and gals and let you know, like, okay, this is something that I don't think is very good or this is good or whatever, like a lot of the stuff that's in the store. Now, to uh, kind of push the point a little bit further, I do think that I have actually spent more money on Trove within the last few months, if not this year, than I have throughout the entirety of my time playing this game. Like I think before, uh, you know, the augmenting update, like with the gems, uh, I, I would, my money for this game was very, very low, but more so the updates for this game have been coming out and being very, very pay to win. And it's just been getting more and more expensive for less and less payoff. Like the geode update, for example, Man alive, you, you guys spend so much money towards it because it's too random and the items you get out of it. it, it it's just the Geode update as a whole sucks. I enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed the content for what it was. The Geode area was kind of cool and grinding through the caves was neat at first. But the amount of time that you have to spend towards actually grinding all this stuff up or the amount of money you have to spend towards, uh, you know, uh, not the amount of money you spend towards it, but I just mean like just the amount of time that you have to put towards the update itself or the amount of money you can put towards helping you out with the update is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, even right now, I keep on having all these bronze eggs. I'm not farming for any more eggs because the caves are disgusting. I, you know, I don't care anymore. And I've, I've opened about maybe 50 to 100 bronze eggs and I haven't gotten any of the rare allies or companions, let alone any of the rare companions that I'm missing because I'm actually still missing a couple of them right here and I don't think I'll ever get them. And I'm less and less caring about whether I do get them or not. So anyways, my point being is that when U10 comes out, I'm expecting I'm probably going to have to drop down even more money towards the game just because I'm sure they're going to have, you know, some more time-gated pay-to-win content that's going to be added, if not even just taking into consideration augmenting the new type of gems. Now, as I said before, I don't like talking about the money, most of all because I think people misunderstand uh, a, a lot when this ends up coming up, but we are directly talking about my loyalty points. That's why today is an exception where I just thought, let's just get into it because the loyalty points quite literally is how much money I've spent on this game. So where are you guys at as far as how much money you've spent towards the game? I'd be very curious to know. Uh, even if you're one of those free-to-play players at the end of the game, let me know what uh, you know. What is your power rank? How far did you get without spending any money? Uh, have you ended up buying any of the store packs and stuff like that? Because you gotta consider too that not only are there the store packs and everything like that, but more importantly, a lot of the things that you get out of the cash shop you can only buy with money, and with it, you end up getting more mastery. And mastery at, at the end game, anyways, is pretty much what ends up slowly giving you more and more power rank, but also ends up making you a little bit stronger with each, uh, you know, few levels that you end up getting towards it. Now, anyways, that's what we're going to do it for me, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Later today, I'm going to have my Q&A video come out, which uh, was me basically replying to like hundreds of your guys and gals comments on my community tab. This was already weeks ago. Unfortunately, I'm only getting it out to you guys now, but I figure I may as well do it while it's the weekend and while you guys got time before you got get back to that school grind and good luck to the people that are actually dealing with all the school stuff uh, i've been seeing you guys in the discord no i i know that it's a bit of a stressful time but it'll calm down it always does uh, and then otherwise again the next update for trove is going to be october 23rd i think is going to be the halloween event and we already kind of know for a fact that we're going to have all of the old items reappear as well as a new event that's probably going to end up being very similar to what the previous events were for all the other halloween years and then on top of it we're going to end up seeing a bunch of new items as well. And I'm actually thinking that we might see some new costumes, hopefully, because it's been a while since we ended up getting some new costumes outside of, I guess there is the geode area, but honestly speaking, not many people can get the geode costumes just because they're so absurd to craft. Thanks for watching though, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, sub, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to support me, you can always sponsor the channel with that join button down below, uh, as well as check out the merch. We have the Ohio merch shirt, which has been... You know, it's a, it's a cool shirt. I still haven't gotten mine yet. Otherwise, I would be wearing it in the videos. Uh, and then there's also Gawkbox, which is a way that you can donate to me for absolutely free. Doesn't work for everyone in Europe, but check links down below to end up knowing a little bit more about that. Sign or and stay up, everybody.